Damn good video for recovery though. Yeah. Okay, so it is Monday morning. Sean ran the truck last week and he said that uh, this winch wasn't engaging. The main boom winch wasn't engaging. So we think the gear stripped out inside there. So Mike's pulling that apart. I already popped our spare part over here. So we got this spare winch and right here that collar. Let me see if I can show you. So that collar slides in and out. And I think we just lost the end of the gear. Either we lost the end of the gear or something happened with the planetary in there. Either way, we're just going to pull it off and swap out the whole end housing. So you start winching and it just, you can hear it grinding in there. Which, we've been nothing but nice to this winch. I don't understand the issues. Well, I think it might have to do with our, what is that, Rube Goldberg contraption? Yeah, our... our series of levers and pulleys that run up there yeah it may which, not have been fully yeah which that was not entirely that was done for a, a spoof of a bit and i think we're going to go ahead and do away with it it's really handy when you need it right turns out you don't need it real often i like this one if we did it just straight up like if it was right here to grab yeah if it was just a, an extension of the lever up sure i would love that one that one i don't like so it's this, this gear is fine. The housing is rounded out. So yeah, all those are just, whoosh. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and re-ensemble this. That may never be re-ensembled again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go back together with this. Okay. Ooh, that little guy, that little guy right there. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This may do the thing. It did the thing. Winch is back in service. Everything's back on it. We need to cut all that stuff off, but we'll do that at a later date. Yeah, I think we need to cut all those bits off. And then I think I want to do like, I think we cut all this off and we'll drill a new hole over here and just remote the handle up there just so it comes up so it's easier to access and reaching down through the floor. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't really want to do the the remote thing it was cool once it worked good for a little while that for, one time for that once one day. it worked good for like twice i think yeah. but apparently it didn't work great or it wouldn't have worn out the collar <laughs> you're right you're right so there we are now we can go we can go get a jeep out of hell's Woo! Woohoo! recovery is so we're at hell's revenge we we're heading out here. There's a rolled over Jeep that rolled over in Hell's Gate a week or so ago. We we're coming out here to get it. We we're gonna pull it out and get it back here to the trail, trailhead and throw it on the rollback that's over there. This is the start of Jeep Safari, so I bet Moab, or I bet Hell's Revenge is gonna be super busy. So here we go.
safari. Yeah. We are. We've been in a traffic jam for about five minutes. Yeah, this is the Jeep safari experience. You, you hurry up and then you don't go anywhere. Well, you do it, but you just go about one mile an hour. Well, yeah, but even slower than like we would normally go. Like we would normally go slow, but this is like slow, slow. Oh. See, we went too slow. Too slow. So here it is. Huh? We have arrived. This poor guy looks a little, a little beat up. Said so there's a yeah, the battery's in the back in the floorboard right here. Okay. Because I'm sure it's a little shorted out. Yeah. All right. Oof, you got sand up in there every bit. Yeah. Well, there's oil in it. Yeah. Looks like this definitely got the ejecto seat on. Oh, man. Can you hold? Yeah. Okay, lights are on. All the lights are on. Oof. Okay, Mike, let's try and shut some of the lights off. All right, like there so there's of, that. There are a bunch of uh, lights There's on. that. Turn that down. All right. Well, sounded reassuring. It's a little smoky, but sounds okay. Yeah. So that's a win. Yeah. So now what we need to do is we need to check all the uh, other fluids. Okay. Power steering. Make sure the wiper fluid isn't low. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need the, the wipers. Be cleaned off. Yeah. Um. Still got a little bit of wiper fluid. We'll okay, probably be good, okay. Good, good. As long as the wiper fluid's good, we're okay. Coolant? No. No coolant? No. Less well, coolant. Less coolant in there. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need to do. Um, I'm gonna grab some water. Okay. That it barely took half a cup, so it's not that bad. The radiator hasn't sprung a leak, so that's good. It drained everything out of the overflow because it was upside down. Right. So here, since everybody wanted to yell at me for my dipstick trick, there's nobody like that. Here's my other trick. Smart Water in Fiji install a funnel on their bottles of water. A little squirt room. I don't know what would have bent it. Yeah, I don't know. What do you... It's not bent at all. Okay, ready? Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Survey says... Survey says no. Okay, now roll said window up. Okay. Watch bingies. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Good. All right, so we use the window to hold the strap to keep the door right where she needs to go. Look, I'm miking it today. <laughs> One All big right. thumbs up. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we 
go. challenge is the glass. The wind blows and little pieces of glass fly everywhere and that's kind of exciting. But other than that, I'd say it's going really well. Had some smells in the beginning from all the different fluids burning off, but turns out these Jeep things are pretty durable. Oh yeah, and uh, there's a lot of, a lot of dinging with the uh, different doors and things going on. But overall, it's pretty fun. I'm digging it, it's cool. Hello. Where were you? Uh, this was in Hell's Gate. I wasn't driving, I'm just driving it out. <laughs> so you see those guys standing on the fender there, or on the rock sliders, riding around like that? It's super fun. And also super dangerous. You slip your foot off of there and get under the tire, you're not gonna like it. So, public service announcement, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, I bet she'll be happier. Look at how happy it is. Look at it, it's so happy. Such a happy little Jeep. Man, that had to be a heck of a ride for these guys. It looks like it, it went over more than once. Here, let me, let me get your door for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, here, let me hop in. <laughs> here, I'm gonna... let, me, let me get some more glass out of the... Out of your bits? Yeah. Out of your undercarriage? Don't worry, it's fine, guys. I'll be okay. Hoi! All right. Okay, I'm gonna try it once. Okay. I'm gonna give her the one, two. One, two! And there we are. So there we are. Hello. that one I think that's the worst of it you know for being as smashed as this thing is it actually drives kind of nice Yeah, it might be good for this little portion. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, now I got some safety spectacles.
So there it is. It's on the trailer. It drove out pretty nice, huh, Mike? Yeah, no, it drove pretty darn good. Yeah. Like I said, it's not always about hauling them out. It's about doing what is right for the situation, which 75% of the time we don't do right. But it's almost always easier to, to drive just, Oh, it's always easier to drive it out if you can get it to do that. But yeah. like I said, it's it's a situation by situation. Get out there and figure it out. It's not like every time it's exactly this. It's let's figure it out. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Rory asked for a mirror, and I was like, well, I got one that's too big and one that's too small. <laughs> Which one would you like? Which would you prefer? Do you need a knife? No, I need like a like a small. No, well, oh, yeah, my fish. The thingy, the Allen wrench that bends. That lives there now. That one lives there. <laughs> <laughs> no work.